In today's video, we're going to talk about the fact that YouTube accused me of animal abuse. And I know that is a crazy sentence to say, so let's start at the beginning. So I made a video about how to dust crickets for a quick short that would help people in search. It's not a big video that needs to be made, but someone that's looking for a quick answer, I made a little short. So all I did was I took a little tub like this, put some bugs in there, put some calcium powder on the bugs, shook it a little bit and said this is how you get it to coat the bugs and that was it, end of short. And if you want to see that exact short, it's on my Instagram, I will link the video in the pinned comment. So that video was live for about four days and then I get an alert and it says that YouTube has pulled down my video because I have broken YouTube's community guidelines, which I thought, that's strange. I haven't used any like music in there that would be copyright material. What's that about? And it says that I have violated the guidelines on violent and graphic content. And what it deems as violent or graphic content is violent content of a human maliciously causing physical or psychological harm to an animal on video. So m human maliciously causing harm to an animal, AKA animal abuse, which I thought was crazy. I was like, how, what? No way, it's just me just teaching people how to dust some crickets to feed to their reptiles, which everyone on YouTube does. So I thought, okay, this is something like the AI has like tripped over itself and it's flagged this. I can see why the AI might do that because I'm shaking some roaches in a tub. Absolutely fine. But I'm sure when I get a human to address this, the guy on the other end that works for YouTube is going to be like, don't worry, mate. It's just the AI. It's a mistake. I'll fix it. You're good to go. And I'd be like, thanks, mate. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. I had the option in the alert to appeal. So I click the appeal button and then two minutes later, I get an email back that's like, your appeal has been rejected, instant rejection. And I'm like, okay, I'm still thinking it's AI at this point. I'm still thinking, okay, this is a process here where it's flagging again and I need to go to a human. So I went to Twitter or X, now that you want to call it. And at Team YouTube on Twitter is actual humans running the account. So I tweeted at them and I said, hey, there's a mistake here. There's no way this is going to be considered animal abuse when there's actual like pit fight fighting videos on YouTube, which is essentially cockfighting or dogfighting, just like frog versus snake versus scorpion and stuff like that. So there's no way actual animal abuse can be allowed, but me dusting some crickets or roaches is animal abuse. And they got back and they said, okay, give us a chance. It's going to take us a few days and we'll find out what's going on. And I thought, great, someone's going to sort this for me. But what actually happened was a couple of days later, they come back and were like, no, it is abuse. You're rejected. How? How can a person look at that and be like, that's violent graphic content. You're maliciously, you're an animal abuser. No, when they're actually allowing the same thing to be on YouTube anyway. It's just mind boggling, right? Mind boggling. I don't understand. So now I actually have a warning on my channel for a community strike. So if it happens again from a warning, I'd get a strike. And if you get three strikes, they delete your entire channel. How? I haven't done anything. And for a quick example, let's look at some of the other videos that are doing exactly verbatim what I did. And their videos are absolutely fine, still up, and it isn't considered animal abuse. Here's a video from Joss's Frogs. Gently shake the cup so that the powder coats the crickets. Here's a video from Animal World Experience. Because it'll stick to everything and make it all gross. But this is called shake and bake, and you gently shake and bake those crickets, and now they are dusted. How is any of that, any of that at all, any different from what's in that video? And if you want to look yourself again, look in the pinned comment. It's verbatim. And they actually show it animals eating them after. I didn't even do that. Not that I think that is bad or any way form abuse. That's just how you take care of these pets. But how how can I be accused in that video of animal abuse when these are 10 year old videos that have been cruising doing absolutely fine? How can you look at my video and say, yes, that's animal abuse. When you actually look on YouTube and you search for these things. You've got like Asian bullfrog eats big snake and scorpion wanna see. You've got Pac-Man frog versus Asian vine snake. You've got extreme fighting among snake, frog, spider, and centipede. These are pit fights. They are literally cockfighting or dogfighting just in another form, both of which 
are illegal. And the list goes on. Horn frog, centipede, scorpion, and, and, and a gecko. It's not even a gecko. It's a bloody skink, first of all. But there's loads of these actual videos of actual animal abuse, of fighting animals for entertainment, which are allowed on the platform. And not only are they allowed on the platform, they're allowed to be on the platform and accrue millions and millions of views. So there's been plenty of time for... YouTube's policy team to come in here and be like, maybe this is violent and graphic content. Maybe this is actual humans inflicting malicious physical harm on these animals for entertainment. Like, how can this not be animal abuse? But me just putting some calcium powder on crickets is mental. If you have a set of rules, the lines need to be clear. And I get that there are written guidelines, but you also yourself need to stick to them. You can't say one rule for this video and another rule for the next when the next is worse than the first video. It doesn't make sense. How can we be good creators and comply if you can't even decide what is animal abuse and what actually isn't? We need clear boundaries in which to work in so that we can basically do as we're told. Not that any of us actually want to do animal abuse in the first place. We love our animals and we want to teach people how to look after their animals so they have happy, healthy lives. But the lines seem to be blurred and I don't even think YouTube are even consistent on what they're going to flag as animal abuse. There are plenty of creators that make content that are like feeding videos monthly if not weekly and are constantly showing dusting and tongue feeding and hunting behaviour and like geckos slamming a worm against a wall. Like... That is valid predation of the animal eating the thing that's meant to be eating. That's fine. And that is deemed fine by YouTube. So how can crickets being dusted or roaches being dusted be seen as animal abuse? Absolutely crazy. The thing that really is the icing on the cake for me is my friend Cedric from Chief Sweets Universe is starting to use the affiliate program on YouTube. And they were showing him, hey, look, there's all these calcium powders and these lights and stuff on our affiliate program. Use these. So they want to get the money for selling the calcium powders. But as soon as I make a video showing the application of the product they want to sell on their affiliate system, I'm an animal abuser. You're the one that wants to sell the product on your platform. That makes no sense. <laughs> it makes no sense. And I really hope YouTube actually see this video and they actually go, okay, we'll remove your warning. I know it's only a warning, but it, it's it's the principle to me. As someone who is all about animal welfare and constantly uploads and preaches animal welfare, to get something like that really, really irked me. On a, on a personal note, so I hope to get that removed. And I hope other creators don't have this problem. And I hope this video is like a a warning to other creators to just just think about what YouTube is going to be like with feeding videos or something like that. So if we get a response, great. If not, I just wanted to talk about this. If you want to support good animal welfare and teaching people how to look after these animals, then subscribe to this channel and give us your support. And I'll see you in the next video.